Hi, this is Jonathan. For the last video of 2020, I'm going to feature the most beautiful guitar that I reviewed this year. And this is a work of art. This is from Burns. This is the Burns Bison 64 in Green Burst.
When I saw this beauty in uh, Davis' website, I was like, whoa, what in the world is that? It's so beautiful that I don't think people will buy it to play, right? So, but I was intrigued, so I asked Janet. I want to thank Janet from Davis Guitar for sending this guitar for review. And I'm glad I did. It's a great guitar. Um, all right, it, it features a maple neck. This is a basswood body, okay? This is a beautiful basswood body uh, with very interesting um, three part. Um, pig guard, <laughs> or you call it a plate, really interesting. Uh, you have rosewood um, fretboard, I think it's rosewood, I'm not too sure about this. And you have uh, sort of a jumbo or medium jumbo frets. We have a zero fret right here, right? Uh, this is a scroll neck design from Burns, which is uh, very famous from them. And uh, they are normal tuners, I guess. These are the Burns tuners. It also features a 43mm nut width, a uh, really nice binding on the side of the neck, right? Four piece neck joint, I mean four screw neck joint. <laughs> um, what else do you have? Okay, apart from this uh, three piece laminated um, picard, <laughs> uh, you have this green burst which is um, from a classic polyester finish and it's really nice. Can see, actually, you can see the grain. You know, I never knew that basswood would have grain, but well, they do. <laughs> Apart from these three pieces of laminated pick guard, you have these three single coils. These are the Resomatic pickups uh, designed by Jim Burns. Uh, they're really nice. I like them. Uh, and then you have here a concoction of uh, dip switches. I mean, switches and 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 knobs. You have a push pull here. Now I'm gonna roughly explain to you, briefly explain to you. Uh, you you can have a total of 21 switchable sounds with this whole uh, array of arrangements of, of, of switches and, and knobs. Well, basically you have uh, the typical five-way switch here, right here, and then you have these three switches here which gives you uh, different tonalities, ranging from normal to a sort of a mid kind of uh, tone to a wild dog tone, which is uh, more or less real thin. So um, use sparingly, uh, <laughs> you would have a, a drastic effect because in, in terms of tone, there, there's a lot of differences. So with the push pull, if you're at the bridge pickup, you will include the net pickup too. And if you're at the fourth position, you will have all three included. So pretty neat. So all in all, with all these three, uh, these three various tone uh, differences, you have a total of 21 switchable sounds. And then you have this piece of incredible hardware you call the Rezo Tube, which was designed by Jim Burns. Our interesting um, tremolo system, uh, not like the Bixby at all. I think this stays in tune better than the Bixby. Um, it's it's nice. Once I have like you know, if, if you have the nut set up properly, this will not go out of tune. Uh, well, this is like 
you know, brand new, so I didn't want to touch anything. So it does uh, get a bit out of tune when I wang it uh, too much. But uh, it's nice, you know, I, I kind of like the response. Yeah? You give me a Dudai bomb on it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like this uh, hardware. I, I, in fact, I think I prefer this to the Bixby. Yeah, looks nice. And you can tell, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, design uh, that has gone into uh, the making of this guitar and I've, I've the only time I've known of Burns guitar is when Hank Marvin used to play one long long time ago and not mistaken Mark Boland had one too and so did other people you know but um, so the other guitarists but it, it wasn't really a, a, a prominent uh, guitar uh, maker for me uh, because I'm based in Singapore so it you know it's, it's, it's quite by chance that I had chance upon this uh, this guitar in Davis uh, music uh, Davis guitar website as of now, uh, Burns Guitar is co-owned by a consortium of uh, music retailers in the UK and uh, some of the board members include uh, the Endertons from Enderton Music. So I'm thinking they are planning to take this guitar to a new uh, horizon, to new adventures in the year 2021. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm pretty interesting because um, these are great guitars, you know, and uh, one of the party made in the Brit in UK. Uh, so, uh, proudly stated by my UK friends and subscribers, and I'm glad, I'm glad. It's always good to see another uh, guitar manufacturer other than the usual ones, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what Burns has to offer. Great guitar. So, tell me what you think and put your comment and comment section down below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, join this uh, channel. Right? and press that bell if you want to know uh, what new videos have been released and uh, please join the patrons to support this channel I want to thank each and every one of them and as this is New Year's Eve you know I want to thank every one of you guys I just hit 20,000 subscribers today this morning when I woke up I was like whoa you know so yeah it was a good uh, surprise for me a good gift so I want to thank each and every one of you for your support and I want to wish you guys uh, a great new year ahead. Um, may the Lord watch over you. May the Lord watch your going and coming in. And may the Lord watch over your family and give you peace. So, I'll see you next year. So in the meantime, you guys take care. Ciao.